Surefire Hall of Famer Aaron Donald registered the 100th sack of his career while Cam Akers and Cooper Cup both rushed for touchdowns as the Los Angeles Rams had just enough to once again sink Arizona 20-12. Hi, I'm James of Faithful Angelino Sports with a rapid recap of today's Rams football game. If you enjoy talking Rams football, don't forget to comment on this clip and by all means subscribe to the channel. We do talk LA football here. Donald, by the way, is the fastest defensive tackle in NFL history to reach the milestone. This is on a defense that is known for literally taking away the deep pass play, the so-called bend but don't break philosophy. The Rams built a 13-0 lead earlier, early in the second quarter, which oddly enough turned out to be enough because that defense kept the Cardinals out of the end zone. Matt Prater kicked four field goals to complete all of Arizona's scoring. The Rams have improved to two and one and at least at this moment are in first place in the NFC West with a critical matchup against the 49ers on October 3rd. San Francisco, which plays a Sunday night game against Denver, is one and one, by the way. Arizona falls to one and two. Now, to me, this game was all about whether the Cardinals would do anything different anything different at all against the Rams. Coach Cliff Kingsbury, quarterback Kyler Murray, they are one and six against Los Angeles. So clearly what they were doing before hadn't given them any sort of, it wasn't working. And when something isn't working, you gotta change. We've all heard the cliche of the, what's the definition of insanity. You don't need me to repeat it for you. Basically, they didn't really change. It's called the air raid offense for a reason. It's not like they're gonna bring in two tight ends and a fullback and then all of a sudden go three yards in a cloud of dust. That's not their MO. So the Rams knew exactly what Arizona was going to do. And LA already had the formula in place that consistently stops Arizona. It's extremely tempting to say that this game was over before it started just because of that. Now say what you want about the Rams, but at least coach Sean McVay, who is 11 and one against Arizona, he has the, 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 the capacity, the mental capacity to make changes. Arizona, after the Rams had taken that 13, nothing lead in the second quarter, Arizona kicked three field goals to pull it within 13, nine. So as a result, McVay made a change. He started trying to run the ball to kill clock. Now, I'm not going to say it was a tremendous effort by the Rams running game, but they did rush for 100 yards on Sunday. It did work. It killed clock. Akers rushed for 61 yards and 12 carries, including a 14-yard touchdown in the third quarter. His scoring run, if you look at it, it seemed to come with the sense of urgency that McVay had demanded of the young back. And as a result, McVeigh was so stoked, he ran all the way down the field to the end zone to congratulate him. Now, it wasn't a perfect game, game for Akers. Akers also fumbled later in the game at the Arizona goal line. Had Akers crossed the goal line, the game would have been over. The game would have been over. Murray, for his part, he outthrew Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford. But the Cardinals quarterback attempted 58 passes. Again, it's an air raid offense. They don't change. They're always going to throw. First, second, third, first and last, doesn't matter. They are always throwing. Which played exactly, again, into the Rams' hands. So if Murray is throwing for 314 yards, that makes sense. He passed 58 times. Now Stafford, he completes only 18 of 25 for 249 yards. The numbers aren't as dramatic as, as Murray, but he's the one who gets the win. Finally, definitely put some respect on rookie cornerback Ken Karrion Dendrick. Sorry, put some respect, and, my, and by the way, I should pronounce it correctly. Put some respect on rookie cor cornerback Darian Kendrick's name. See, the Rams were down as many as three defensive backs due to injury. Kendrick led the team with nine tackles. Nine tackles as a rookie against a team that he knew was going to be coming at him all day long. And he, along with the rest of the Rams defense, kept Arizona out of the end zone. The defense was terrific in that sense. 
you allow just 12 points, you should win a football game. Now, if you enjoyed this recap of Rams football, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We do talk Rams football here. Thank you for watching. I'm James. We'll be back tomorrow. Faithful Angelinos is a key at Corta El Queso production. Take care.